Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the astute aardvark and the hammer and hang studio on the expensive first floor of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's deep three. As always, if you would be so kind, give us the old thumbs up on this video if you dig what we're doing, you have a little fun, learn a little something, maybe even making a buck or two, we appreciate the thumbs up. And of course, if you're ready to take that next step, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Just click the triangle once that hits. Make sure you click the bell and get notified each and every time we put up brand new content. And of course, we want to know what you're playing. Give us your give us your best plays. Put up your best five there in the comment section of this video. If you want to put up more than that, you certainly can. Help out your fellow handicappers and sports bettors. But we will just grade the first five. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, just like the Hammer and Hank and the Astute Aardvark. You have a chance at being the capper of the day. And, of course, to help you on your capping journey, don't forget to check out winnersandwiners.com and statsalt.com. Deep dives into every game going on in America every single day. But if you haven't been there lately, man, get yourself over there because we've expanded into uh, we've expanded into some stats. That's right. Not only do they have the best uh, handicappers in the business doing write-ups, but they've also... Uh, They've got some game stats. They've got some betting information. It is, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a brand new world over there at Winners and Winners and StatSalt.com. So if you haven't checked them out in a while, make sure that you get your butt over there and check out Winners and Winners. Dead cam. All right. Well, guys, we, uh, the good news is we didn't go 0-3 today. Uh, we did end up hitting the Boston Celtics as they were able to pull away late and take care of business. But uh, we did not do so good on our uh, on our uh, Citadel UNC Greensboro under. Uh, they put up a big second half there. That kind of doomed us. And the Maine Black Bears went absolutely stone cold, man. They were hanging in there okay. They were down 11 at halftime, just clicking along about where we needed them. And they went ice cold. I believe they went uh, about nine minutes and put up five points and that my friends is going to uh that's going to take care of you every single time there so we went one and two there and we played a couple of overs on the premium side something i don't play a ton of and i was reminded why tonight as we had the clemson virginia over and virginia uh not only played their great defense but we also saw why uh they've had lost many games this season as they went uh, uh i think they went seven six or seven minutes without scoring a uh, without scoring a field goal so that was brutal it's going to kill your overs and we also had the houston baptist and uh, southeast louisiana over southeast louisiana uh proved to be not much help uh, as far as either side goes they played a little better defense than we we're anticipating and they were able to uh uh keep them they were able to not score themselves even against that dreadful houston baptist defense so uh, one and two deep three, oh and two premium, and that means we got some peddling to do, we got some work to do, we got some ground to make up. So let's get it started in the NBA as we take a look one more time at the Orlando Magic finishing up their uh, road swing there against the New York and Knickerbockers. Guys, I got my eye on the total here of two oh seven. This is a Magic team, as we learned last night, that is absolutely struggling to score. They've scored uh, averaged less than a, they have averaged a, a, under a hundred points for their last ten games, but the market still. I don't think it's sufficiently adjusted uh, uh, to this team. The under has gone 15-5-1 in their last 21 games. And now the Knicks, you know, they play pretty good defense, especially against offenses that are not so good. Uh, they have given up 100 points or less in six of their last nine. The Magic, uh, they're on a uh, uh, second game of back-to-back, -back and tired legs always makes it extra challenging uh, to shoot those jumpers. I like... Uh, I like Orlando and New York under. I don't have a number as of right now. I'm going to guess it's going to be somewhere in the 207-ish, 208 range. And I like that uh, I like that under very much there. Um, staying in the NBA as we look at the New Orleans Pelicans and the Chicago Bulls. You know, with Zion Williamson, uh, the Pelicans are a lot like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. The Bulls... They're also like a box of chocolates, but it, that box of chocolates has uh, somebody has taken a bite and then spit out the piece of each of the chocolates in the box. Uh, Bulls have failed to cover five of their last six, seven of their last nine home games. Um, and I just don't think Carter and Markman can handle Zion Williamson. Now, 
There is a note about Zion Williamson. He is questionable for this game with a sprained toe. If he cannot go, I would still consider this game, but I wouldn't play it any worse than minus one. So if Zion can't go, and we've still got that number in the two, two and a half, one and a half range, pass. I'm going to pass on that one. I still think New Orleans, even without Zion, maybe a little better team than Chicago, but I'm not uh, willing to juice it up to three and a half. So there's the caveat on that play. And we're going to finish it up with the Tulane Green Wave and the Houston Cougars uh, down there in Houston, Texas, looking at that total 135. You know, the Cougars are absolutely getting it done lately on the defensive side of the ball. They've given up less than 61 points per game in conference and uh, even better at home as they have given up under 60 points per contest. Now, this is not going to be a good match for this Green Wave team that averages just 62.8 in conference. And uh, over their last five, they've really been struggling as they've averaged just 58 points per game. Neither of these teams is going to push the pace. And I think Houston stifles Tulane early with their size inside and their rebounding advantage. I think they ultimately get that big lead and then take the air out of the ball even more than they normally do. The under, it's hitting seven straight for Houston and it's hitting five of seven for the Green Wave. I think both of those trends continue. Give me the Tulane Green Wave, Houston Cougars under 135. Give me, give me, give me. Those New Orleans uh, Pelicans, hopefully with Zion Williamson to minus the three and a half points. And we're going to go with the Orlando Magic and the New York Knicks under. And we will play that up to, uh, up to, uh, or down to, including, uh, I wouldn't want to go, I wouldn't want to go much below 205 and a half. So we're going to say uh, 205 or lower pass on this one. Uh, but uh, I just, I think we'll be somewhere, somewhere in the 207 range is, is my best guess. So we'll see what happens there. Anyway, the end of those three, Let's fire this week up. You know what? We've been a little slow starting here. Still got my Chiefs hangover, so uh, we're focused. And, uh, you know, that's not actually a thing. But um, it's just it's uh, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff going on. No excuses. It just hasn't, hasn't got it done. But we're going to start it up today. You guys can join me. We'll pick up our winning tickets. We will head back to the window. All right. So let's, uh, once again, remind you that I will put a link for the premium plays in the comment section if, if you're uh, interested in getting on the premium team. We would love to have you just follow that link and uh, we will get you hooked up. And of course, uh, most importantly, we want to know what you guys did today. So let's take a look at the shout outs. I know you guys did a lot better than I did. Most of you did anyway. Uh, one of our reigning champions, uh, Hammer and Hank, was uh, had perfect attendance today, as did Kevin Carter. Uh, Pat Cogney and the Legion of Picks, they got juiced. Uh, and everybody else, well, they made a little something, something, starting with Chris Johnson. Going 3-2 and two plus 76. The Astute Aardvark, our other reigning champion, goes 3-2 and two plus 80. The T-Train goes 2-1 and one plus 90. Jay Good goes 2-1 and one plus 90. And jumping on the train, Jay Yee. Jay Yee, good to have you back, brother. He goes 2-1 and one plus 90 as well. Paul Gremmon continues a pretty good week, going 3-2 and two plus 98. Eric Tucker, one play, one win. Played a nice little money line play there, 1-0 plus 155. C-Dub. A couple of positive value plays as well as he goes three and two on the soccer pitch, but plus 185. And speaking from across the pond, hey, you know him, you love him. Everybody, it is time for the cash and smash going four and one at plus 290. Opa! It is your divine Greek, everybody. Hey, El Greco, you, my friend, are our capper of the day. Congratulations. Drink that ouzo. Not going to get any loving from the wife, but some things are worth it, all right? Uh, by the way, Greek, if you got to play anything you're looking at for uh, for Friday, make sure that you put it in the comment section. We'll make sure word gets out to everybody else. And, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Let's. Uh, we got a lot of action tonight. Shoot, a lot of opportunities to make some money. So let's go out there and get it done. All right, guys. We'll meet back here tomorrow. We'll talk about it. We'll bitch about those bad beats and those terrible offenses that we back somehow. And we'll brag about our fat stacks. And then it'll be Friday night. We'll be heading into the weekend. It's going to be a little Ivy League action, of course, on Friday night. Usually pretty good NBA slate. Frankly, where would you rather be? But right here, we're going to jump in. We're going to fire it up, and we'll do it one more time. All right? You guys take care. Good luck on all of your plays today. Thanks for tuning in. Of course, we couldn't do it without you. You guys are the Stone Cold Best. Let's get some winners out there tonight, and I'll be looking for you back at the window. You guys take care.